Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Mystic Mesa. My name is Stacy. I am joined in my office by my cat Milktoast who is right over here uh, behind my computer where it's warm. That's where he likes to stay. I doubt he will be making an appearance in this episode. Uh, but hello! Hello golems! Hello! I still don't know what to name you, sir. I haven't thought of a good name for you. Uh, but are you getting along well with clay? I know, it's a, a small balcony, but I'm gonna expand it. Like, we're gonna, we're gonna build things around here. But yet again, uh, I come on to Mystic Mesa to record, and it is, like, the day that I am... Like, I'm just coming on here for the first time since I last logged on. Anyway, I completely forgot in the last episode that I killed a peacock. Uh, I felt really bad about it. I also wonder if you could have sheared a peacock. Let's not think about it. Uh, but I'm excited because I forgot that you can now uh, make the... How do you spell encyclopedia? Uh, I can make <gasps> the encyclopedia of birds. Um, I just need a peacock feather and a book. That's it. Okay, so we'll just make make ourselves a book and then we can make uh, the encyclopedia of birds and I don't even know what it is. I didn't look it up. I don't know what it does. <gasps> Ooh, I'm a bird watcher. I got an achievement. Uh, okay, let's put down, let's put my peacock feather there because I mean we can probably do something else with it. Who knows? I'm really sorry to the peacock. Uh, that we had to murder, but I feel like this book is necessary because one of my goals in the series uh, is to get all of the birds that there are. So what does this do? Let's look at it. <gasps> Welcome to the Encyclopedia of Birds. Click, left click a bird to log it. Use the arrows at the bottom of the page to navigate through different entries. Encyclopedia of Birds. Oh! 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 Hummingbird, let's start with that one. Uh, come here, Poco. Poco, it's getting night, so I have to come down here anyway, and we can log uh, Poco, and we can log Tango. Uh, yes, this is perfect. I'm so excited. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, Poco, I hear you. Here you are. Uh, okay, left click on a bird. <gasps> no, no, there. Mm, did I get you? Am I getting you? No? I don't want to like actually hit you with the book Poco because I feel like that's something that I would do um, I feel like it's wanting did it say left click on a bird left click on a bird is attack mm, it's gonna have me hit my bird you know what let's try this with bad pigeon mom I'm gonna right click you. She knows I'm about to hit her. Uh, I'm gonna right click, or no, left click you. I'm going to left click you with this book and hope that it doesn't kill you. <gasps> oh, it works! A logger of species. Ah, wood pigeon. Oh, it works. Okay, you don't hit the bird. Thanks, bad pigeon mom, for being my guinea pig. Okay, Poco and Poco. Nope. Poco, Poco, wait, I want to log you, Poco. I'm going to try to log you, Poco. Come on. There you go. Logged Hummingbird and logged the Gouldian Finch. Now let's open the book and see uh, what this means. Uh, okay. Oh, there it is. Small, colorful birds found in northern Australia feed primarily upon grass and seeds, build their nests in holes and trees. Oh, I love this. Oh, look at that hummingbird. There's a blue one. I want it. I need that hummingbird, too. Smallest of all the birds, long pointed beaks, obtain nectar, try attracting them using sugar. We've seen a lot of birds, but I'm going to make a rule with this series right now that we don't log the bird. Oh, an owl. Um, oh, a long-eared owl. A snowy owl. We don't... I really want a parrot, too. Um, let me stop clicking. I don't want to log the bird until we have the bird in our bird sanctuary, which I need to build. Uh, anyway, peafowl, pelican, penguin, phoenix, pigeon, rock dove. Pigeon, wood pigeon. Interesting. I wonder what the white pigeon was. Okay, seagull, swan, swan, swan. There's four kinds of swans. A toucan. We haven't seen our woodpecker in a while. Vulture, woodpecker. Uh, oh, three kinds of woodpeckers. Okay, so I, I feel like 
with the exception of a lot of the owls, we have seen most of the birds, uh, of course, besides the phoenix. But I did want to go over and just make sure that Unicorn Meadow was okay. Pull up, Poganip, pull up, because my render distance, my render distance is really low. Uh, I'm going to need to hope that a mountain doesn't spawn in right here, Poganip. Uh, I want to build the bird sanctuary somewhere over here. I think it's perfect. All right, let me jump off. I do need to bring over more dirt, though. Oh, you have a lead here, too. Can I have that? Thank you, sir. Uh, okay, come here. Come here. Come here. <gasps> I can't lead you? What if I jump on you? Ow! Hey! You're taking so many hearts. Have I never tamed a you? I've tamed... All the unicorns I found were already tamed, weren't they? Have I not? Ow! I just golden lassoed them, didn't I? How do you tame a unicorn? Do I have to give you something first? You are really not polite. Come here. Okay, you know what? I'm going to push you over here then, you, you unicorn. I'm going to push you over here into this fence, and you're going to love it over here. And I'm going to get a water bucket probably and push you through. You are a mean, mean unicorn. Okay, you go in there. And hold on. Come on. There. No. There. Why can't I place these? Where did they go? I'm going to relog. <gasps> what? What's happening? And now I have six fences. Okay, so something something really strange is happening. Uh, okay, that was weird. Um, but okay, we have you guys here. Now will these place? There we go. All right, Unicorn Meadow is secure. Now we just need to work on our other horse stables. I'm going to chop down some of these trees uh, here. None of these are my special enchanted tree, right? I don't think so. Originally, oh. Mm. I was going to do horse stables. I still think I want to do like a unicorn area, then like um, maybe a horse area, and then maybe like a donkey and a mule area. But maybe I also need, can unicorns and pegasuses be in together? Actually, you can't really, you cannot really fence in a pegasus. Now can you? <laughs> Someone needle point that on a pillow. You can't fence in a pegasus. You just can't. Uh, I died here. That's awkward. Uh, let me grab some of this stuff because who knows if I need it. Okay, I am back and I actually wanted to take some of my fossils in archaeology. Did I take the frozen meat over? Because some people in the comments of the last video were telling me to put the frozen meat into the, um, to the analyzer. So we're going to try to do that. Uh, you guys stay there. Poganip, we ride at sunrise. The best time, in my opinion, to ride a Pegasus, if you don't mind me saying so. Cool, we got a unicorn there. And anything else? A bunch of ender wolves that we still need to tame. Uh, oh, look at my shadow. Did you guys see that? I love that. When you see me on the mesa riding Poganip, see that? Ah, no! Careful, careful, careful. Uh, okay, uh, let's go ahead and analyze. I'm just gonna, I think, leave Poganip on the roof here. Um, although, Poganip, if you jump off and prick yourself on a cactus, I'll be very mad at you. How am I gonna get back up to you? Uh, okay, let's see here. Ah, oh, uh, frozen meat? No. Where did I put all my frozen? Here they are. I only have two? I swear I had more than two. Let's try this. Can we put two in at a time? Maybe that'll help. I'm really not sure what I'm doing, guys. I just want a dinosaur. Okay? I just want a dinosaur. Uh, from what I could tell, some of the... I just have a lot of garbage here in my uh, inventory. A lot of the comments were saying that the, the analyzer is pretty random. And you just have to keep putting things in. And eventually you'll get something. I don't know if that's true. <gasps> I think it's true. Terror bird DNA? Terror. Bingo! Dino DNA! Uh, <laughs> that's my favorite movie of all time. Uh, okay, wait a minute. I don't think I want a terror bird. Terror bird. A terror bird. 
Okay, so if I have taro bird, okay, can you can you craft an egg? What do you do with the DNA? I have so much more research I need to do. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's put our, our DNA in here. Oh my goodness. Thank you guys for the tips. And let's put in a couple more fossils and see if we get something. I don't know. Did I see a loose villager? What are you doing, loose villager? While I'm at it, I should do a bit of harvesting um, and a bit of planting. Uh, Alright, let's see what we got. Uh, if we got anything at all from Poganip, you're very, very close. Don't do it, Poganip. Don't do it. Um, okay. <gasps> we have Tyrannosaurus DNA. We have Tyrannosaurus DNA. I'm not ready for this. I don't even have an enclosure for like my horse. You can make a cake with a Tyrannosaurus egg, but how do you make the Tyrannosaurus Dinopedia, Tyrannosaurus DNA in a book? Ooh, uh, I wonder if you could do that with the terror bird DNA, uh, Dinopedia. Ooh, I bet you can. I bet you can. It's like all this stuff. Um, is there a terror bird in here? Oh, no. I don't think there is. It was blue, wasn't it? I feel like we don't want to use our... Okay, let's put in... Let's put in the rest of the biofossils. Um, so this is why it's important to mine fossils. This is why that's an important thing. I don't know what's happening. All I know is that I am in no way prepared for a Tyrannosaurus Rex of any sort. Uh, at all, Pognip. We don't have anything going on. Like, can you imagine if I unleashed a Tyrannosaur on this village? Okay, I want to get enough just to make the book. Uh, today has been an episode of books because I feel like the book will help us. Unless it's just one of the books like the bird book where you just click on the dinosaur. That wouldn't be very helpful. Uh, I really want dinosaurs, but I have to make an area of this mesa that is like completely dino proof. Oh, you know what I should do it? I should do it like in one of these. This is perfect. <gasps> this is so perfect. I should do it in one of these areas over here that has like the ravines so that the dinosaurs could be like on their own little mesa plateau uh, so that there could be like bridges to their enclosures. But then hopefully as long as I don't make like a pterodactyl or something, they can't get out of the ravine and come kill us. Plants, relic scraps, manure, skulls, skull lanterns tendons we have an ankylosaur vertebrae i didn't know we had that what do we do with that what do we do with the okay i ooh, i'm excited uh and nothing and nothing was well it's a good way of getting bone meal quite honestly uh and okay we've got two of those perfect so we can make um poganip let's go home and we can make the book with one of the dnas that we have two of can i get on can i jump up can I jump onto you from down here? Pog oh! Oh, good Pognip! Good Pognip! See, like, what I'm talking about here, like, this is a huge ravine, and we could build dinosaur areas over on these kind of things, where it's, like, a little bit more protected. Uh, like, even this one would work. I don't know, is there one closer to our house, though? Is that connected to our house right there? Uh, this big one, I feel like it probably, this is the one that's part of our house, isn't it? Yeah, don't want to do that. That would be uh, very bad, but right over there. That's our dinosaur area then. We've got books, and then let's put in one of these. Uh, which one was it? This guy. Dinopedia. <gasps> what does this mean? I can't open it. I can't read this book. Are you kidding me? What is it? Just a decorative book? I thought it was going to have the secrets to this mod. This has got to be a glitch, right? Is this another glitch? Because you've got to be able to open this book. Do I need something to open this book? What is it? No, I don't need that. 
I can't. Oh, no, you guys. I was all excited. Okay, I'm going to do a bunch of research before the next episode, I promise. Uh, so that we can get going on dinosaurs, guys. Oh, my goodness. Oh, they're starting to get some stuff. A Tyrannosaurus. Did you guys kill a spider? What? No! No, where is he? Where did he go? Where's the unnamed book? Book golem? What did you do with him, Clay? He couldn't have been taken out by a spider. Nori, what happened? Where? Where did he go? Did he fall? Maybe he just got into a, a dust up with a spider and he fell down. Hello, bookcase golem? Bookcase golem? Were you seriously killed by a spider? In the next episode of Mystic Mesa, we will begin work on our graveyard. But until then, Major Molly, love you.